All right, just checking the videos. Just checking and checking and checking. Um, all right, they're, they're doing good. Um, let's check. Um, wait, what was the last time I made a video? Let me check. Oh, um, okay. Uh, ah, I got a lot of explain to do. I should probably make a video now, but what should I make a video of? I know. What up, my epic pals? And hi. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> uh, I know it's been a month. Um, as you guys hear, you can, there's a dog outside. That's not my dog. It's someone else's. Um, but hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? So it's been a month. I know. I've checked the channel. Um, and I'll give you. I was just I, guys. Look. Um, I'm not dead, alright? The, the reason being why I haven't made a video in like quite a while is just because one, I've been work- I mean, I just have a lot of school- I just had to like do school and then school work and then just do a homework and all that and yeah, I've been working my butt off from this channel for a while. And secondly, I just had to take a break from YouTube. I mean, I mean, just making qual- I mean, making great videos is just such a chore for me. I mean, well, it's not a chore, like a hobby, because I had to go do school and then try to think of a video idea, but I just kind of ran out of ideas. But yeah, um, yeah, I mean, the last video I made was something to do with this. Yes, Smash Brothers Ultimate's 3.0 update. Y'all heard of it by now, like, a month ago. And speaking of that, that's what we're going to talk about today. Guys, we're going to talk about five things that we need for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate 3.0 update. And guys, there, and as I read from the list, from the five things, there's already, there's, you already, there's kind of like a, like a list, um, like each number, there's kind of things that you already expected, like Joker, for example, or new modes. But I'm just doing this for fun. And before we get started, uh, if you love, guys love the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos. And if you love this video, comment and like, and let's get started. Also, I'll be leaving a link in the description below for this um, for this kind of um, source. And let's get started. So number one is Joker in the Smash Bros. Ultimate roster. The inclusion of Persona 5 Joker in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate was announced all the way back in December, which is which we already know. While we had to wait a few months for the introduction for the introduction of Piranha Plant, Joker will come in um in the spring update. No gameplay footage footage has been shown for Joker thus far. However, with his handgun and, and multiple personas, he could have one of the most unique movesets in the game. Now guys, this is already a thing you already expected, and that's a thing I already expected. I want Joker. I mean, we just got a few weeks left till April, and Nintendo literally announced that he's coming, I think, um, before the end of April, and if you guys didn't notice, you can see by the picture right there, it literally says the ultimate spring update, but if you look at the picture, you can see Villager, Inkling, and Young Link with bunny hairs, and, and you can see an egg with purple polka dots, and that's the same thing from the Link's Awakenings remake, that there's a purple egg, so that means either it's coming in Easter. That's just my prediction, because Joker, because Nintendo specifically said that Joker will come before the end of April. And there's still no move set yet, there's still no gameplay show, no stage reveal yet, well, that's a thing we're gonna have to talk about in, uh, in like a future video, I guess. Uh, and since people already kind of talk about it for quite a while. And, yes, but before we go to number two, but if you can see by the video, you already kind of saw it. Um... Um, I just have one question for Nintendo. Um, hey Nintendo, it's almost the end of March. Um, can you please give us some Joker, um, like Joker gameplay right now? Please, just ask him. Number two, new Smash Bros. Ultimate stage and music. It's also confirmed that Joker will come along with a new Smash Bros. Ultimate stage. This will be the first new stage to come to Smash Ultimate since the game's launch. Well, this could be any location for Persona 5's 
for Persona 5. Leaks suggest we'll get a memento stage. And guys, that's the leak I was kind of talking about. There was already a leak that some people data mine this, this stage. And that's kind of might be a disappointment for most of the fans. And guys, we kind of see this coming. Um, no pun intended, though. Um, yeah, we kind of already saw this. Like, I mean, we people were predicting that Mementos or the Casino or Tokyo could be a stage. But Sakurai um, is mostly just a hardworking man. And just and if you guys see get some of the Game Explains videos, shout out to them. Um, if you guys see any of Game Explains videos, you can see that they're actually, um, they, they actually, like, cover some, um, some interviews with Sakurai that he's been having, like, lots of issues with Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like, I saw on the, on the web website that they actually, I mean, Sakurai has been, like, experiencing, like, IV drips and all that. And, um, we're getting way off topic. Um, Mementos is, um, Mementos is known as the stage of regression. It features many side quests as well as the final battle in Persona 5. We'll also get some tracks next to accompany the, mu the new, the new stage and character. Um, yes, yeah, so we kind of see this coming, and still no pun intended. Um, we kind of already know that Joker is now going to get, um, like, a stage and music. But I'm really I'm still wondering if his stage is still gonna be mementos. And um actually Game Explain actually predicted this video and predicted this kind of a while back actually. And I'll put it in like the little like the little circle thing in the corner where I don't know where it is, just find it. And they deserve more views, I promise. They like talk about all of things about his moves moveset and everything. And now let's go to number three. And wait, well, I forgot. Um, what will the music be? Like music is all like I've heard some Persona Five music, and it was so classy. But what were the other Persona games? Now I never actually heard the music from Persona One to Four, but I'm still wondering of if there's still gonna be any, like, like what? Let I me. Mean, is there still gonna be like any music from the past Persona games? Like yeah, leave I mean leave the leave the answers like comment on the in the comment section below if you tell me if it's actually gonna be music from the past Persona games. All right, um, let's go to number three. Number three is new Smash Bros Ultimate bosses. All right, guys. Um, let's we're gonna have to top of this after I read it. Between over seventy characters, there are only eight bosses in Smash Ultimate's classic mode. However, the new update could add some brand new bosses to the game. In a recent recent Famitsu column, Sakurai claimed he's working on new classic mode runs and events. Really? Oh, I didn't actually know that. This could mean we could get new, some new Smash Bros. Ultimate bosses. This this could be all kinds of characters from Palatine from Palatine's nemesis. I can't read today. From Palatina's nemesis Medusa to Earthbound and mother antagonist Porky Minch. Now, guys, this is a thing that people. I, okay, guys, I actually didn't know Sakura was actually working on a new classic mode. Um, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So yeah, guys. Um, like, and also, guys, just to be clear, boss stages don't count. If there were, I mean, if there were in a classic mode, they would count, but not stage bosses. I'm sorry, but they just don't count. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I, can't, I mean, like I said before, I never, I didn't actually know Sakurai was making a new like classic mode run and events actually. Uh, and the new bosses. What do we need? Like, what kind of new bosses do we need? I mean, are we gonna need like? Like Smash Bros. original bosses? Like, is it gonna be like original bosses? Like with Galeon, for example? And Taboo? Like, I mean, we could probably get Taboo back. No? Alright. But uh, the idea for adding probably Medusa, but pr but people were requesting Medusa as a playable character when, pe when people already. But I kind of actually know that Medusa is an ass no, not an assist, like a spirit. But guys, let me just say, let me clarify what I think that is spirits it kind of deconfirmed characters, J just in my opinion. Porky, people ask for Porky, so, um, and there's no spirit of him, so I guess he could possibly be a character, 
for a boss. Who knows? But that's all I'm gonna say. Let's go to number four. Ah, new game modes is number four. The Smash Bros. Ultimate Spring Update could also bring some new modes to the game. In fact, recent leaks suggest we'll see the return of two classic game modes. A Smash Bros. Data Miner found some information to suggest we'll get a Smash Bros. Ultimate Stage Builder along with the return of the Home Run Contest. And it's likely these additions will make it to the Smash Bros. Ultimate 3.0 update with Nintendo's willingness to add new content. We could see even even we can even see brand new game modes in the future. Now, guys, that's a thing that I'm kind of getting irritated about. About about a month ago, before um they like revealed the 3.0 update, they they actually show like two blurry pixelated um screens be in the switch and it's mostly smash Bros. related and one of them in the comments say that it's gonna be stage builder now i wasn't sure of it until i checked the pixelated and it literally looks like kind of uh i'm not sure it's stage builder and now i get it stage builder and home run contest are still two are like very two classic modes like very classic eh, but to me how would stage builder work for smash ultimate like that's just my question. How would it work? And home run contest. Okay, that's not going to be possible. The only reason being why I'm thinking about this, and I get it's a classic, very classic mode from Melee, but home run contest with over 70 characters, there's no way. It, that could possibly, like, break the entire game, to be honest. And stage builder, that's just a thing I kind of want to talk about for a bit. And that's the thing that's going to be my next video, I think. Until when Smash Ultimate's 3.0 update comes out. Or I might not be able to have time to make a video. And that's just all I'm going to say. Now, let's just go to number 5. Number 5, better online features. Now guys, keep in mind, I don't have Nintendo Switch online. I don't even want to buy it in my, in my entire life. In case I grow up and buy it. So this might, this one might be more wishful thinking. But if we're lucky, the new update could include... Some feature, some improved online features. While the single player online mode has undergone improvements, it's still hard for friends to play together. There's no way to invite friends or add or add new people from previous matches. Better social and ease of use, whose features are of for the online would go a long way to improving the game. All right, online features. Like I said, I don't even want to buy it in case I grow up. And, um, to be honest, like, after Miiverse was kind of shut down in the Wii U a very long time ago, there's kind of had not been a way that there's literally, like, I mean, the only thing that they could possibly get is with friend codes. Like, get friends is with the friend codes. But, I mean, if you guys heard, there's actually this free Switch game called Brawlhalla, kind of a rip on Smash Bros. game. And you can actually check, um like the players who actually fought to you and see if you can add them a friend or not but with smash ultimate i kind of am not sure i haven't been on online mode a bit but if they're actually gonna add it then it gets kind of worth the 20 dollars a year for me i guess and that's gonna wrap up of what i'm gonna talk about today and guys sorry i haven't been around for the month but if you guys enjoy this video um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have an epic life. Bye! Also, please, Nintendo, give us Joker playing gameplay right now. It's almost the end of March right now. Please, please, Nintendo.